Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, a free site, BettingAngle.us, a free site. Today is September the 4th, 2020. Let's talk investment ideas I'm pursuing. Don't consider this to be investment advice. That would run afoul of some laws, possibly. Just consider this to be uh, what I'm doing. I'm just sharing it with you here online. But first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now first, just on a personal note, from time to time people see me wearing a jersey, a sports jersey, NFL, uh, Major League Baseball, and they'll stop me. And they'll say, hey, you know, how did you get that jersey? Where do you buy your jerseys? Well, this is the time of year where you can get jerseys at deep discounts. Right? Let me let you in on a secret. <clears throat> when a player like a Leonard Fournette gets cut by the Jacksonville Jaguars, for net Jacksonville jerseys will sell at a huge discount on places like fanatics.com. So if you have had a Jones for a Jaguar jersey, now's the time to take advantage of the fact that Fournette is no longer there to get the jersey. Let me also say too, if Leonard Fournette, who had over a thousand rushing yards last year, had over 1,600 yards from scrimmage last year, if Fournette ends up being a star with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, then when you're out wearing that Leonard Fournette jersey in the future, right, even though it's a Jacksonville jersey, it'll have an increase in value. It'll be nostalgic. So what I want people to do is to consider the players who recently changed teams in the offseason. Right? Tom Brady. That Tom Brady New England jersey might be going off at a discount right now. Rob Gronkowski. That Gronkowski New England jersey might be going off at a discount right now. That Cam Newton Carolina Panther jersey might be going off at a discount right now. Right? You want to circle this time of year. You also want to circle Thanksgiving. Right? As times when jerseys are on sale. Right? Always look for bargains. Always pay attention to who gets cut. Always pay attention to who changes teams. That's when you want to pounce. Now let's talk about investment ideas. As many people here online know, I'm very bullish on the idea of electric vehicles. I'm very bullish on the idea of self-driving vehicles. So earlier, uh, I'm also bullish on paying low prices. I don't want to pay full price. Now as I make this video, the stock market is getting crushed. Yesterday, the Dow Jones was down over 800 points. My point to investors is now is the time where I go looking for quality, where I try to find companies that further my investment theory at discounted prices. Right? Use the general market downturn as an opportunity to increase the quality of your portfolio holdings. At least that's what I'm trying to do. So, in the EV space, as people here online know, I earlier picked up some NEO, right? China's Tesla, as it's called. I didn't want to pay the big price for Tesla. I believe in EV. I understand the Chinese government is trying to lower pollution, that they have embraced EV, that they 
have been cooperating with Elon Musk in terms of allowing Tesla to build a gigafactory in China. So I invested in NEO and NEO has been on fire. Right? That NEO investment more than doubled. Well, it might surprise some people, but I've now sold my NEO. Too many players are getting into the space. The prices are going up too much. Right? Let me just say, though, that while I've sold my NEO, I still believe in autonomous vehicles. I still want to dabble in that space. Right? I believe there's going to be major overlap, just like Tesla has autopilot. I believe there's going to be major overlap between EV and autonomous vehicles. So I took the money I made off of NEO and I've invested it in China's Google, a company called Baidu. The symbol is B-I-D-U. Right? Just understand that this is a search engine giant in China. But more importantly, they also have a fleet of robo-taxis, self-driving taxi services in several cities right now in China. So I get the benefits of profiting from autonomous vehicle technology while at the same time having it be diversified. In other words, the company's main focus is its internet search company. And because the company is entrenched and has the government's permission already to operate robo-taxi services, I feel that that investment in a country that has more people using the internet than the United States has people, I believe that that investment has more upside long term, has a bigger moat around it than simply an investment in NEO. Let's go further. In the United States, I have thrown money at Alphabet, right? Google. Understand, Google, of course, is a search powerhouse. No doubt many people watching this video have used Google search today, or at least within the last 48 hours. But understand, Google is so much more than that. Right? Cloud computing, for example. Google's on the forefront of that. Right? Google, of course, has ventures like YouTube TV, the best TV viewing experience I know of. Right? And in my house, we subscribe to many of them. Right? Let me just say thank you, too, to YouTube TV for adding NFL Network at no extra charge. Right? But importantly, Google also has a driverless car unit, Waymo, that's been in Phoenix for a long time. Right? Understand, Waymo is trying to have not driver-assisted autonomous vehicles. No, they want to reach that level where the driver's not needed at all. So Waymo vehicles have gone millions of miles right now. Google's still testing the technology, right? They've been at it a long time. My office is in Mountain View. I often see Google autonomous vehicles. There'll be a person in the driver's seat, but I often see Google autonomous vehicles on the streets of Mountain View, California. Well, my point to you is, here you have a company that's tremendously profitable, that has several different parts, right? Search part, cloud computing part, etc. 
several different parts. Um, well situated in several different areas. And I get the upside of their research and development of autonomous vehicles. Right? Google to me at this point is a no-brainer. I understand the Department of Justice is now investigating Google on antitrust grounds, at least according to some of the reports I've read. I'm not even worried about that because understand, if Google were to break up, and understand Google doesn't have the market cap of a company like Apple, if Google were to break up, I believe that the value of the pieces would be greater than the market cap of the company right now. In other words, their Waymo unit is undervalued. People understand that autonomous vehicles are coming. They understand that that's going to be incredibly lucrative. They understand the concept of transportation as a service might change our relationship to vehicles. People might decide not to own cars just to get a car on demand that's driverless. What they don't understand is one of the world's foremost research and development autonomous vehicle companies is folded into Google. So when you buy a share of Google, you're not just getting a piece of that action. You're getting a piece of all the other parts. Right? Let me just tell you, Google Wallet, I'm not sure of the last time I reached inside my wallet to pull out a credit card. I use Google Wallet on my phone almost continuously. Now because it's bundled with Google, the search behemoth, I believe it's undervalued. So I'm not even afraid of the Department of Justice investigation. Let's talk about another company. You know, Walmart is about to debut Walmart Plus. They're going to go head to head with Amazon. You're going to pay, or they're going to offer a at a price of about $100 a year. Free shipping, just like Amazon Prime. Right now, I'm a big Amazon fan. I own some Amazon stock. I'm an Amazon customer. Uh, I subscribe to a bunch of Amazon services. Um, Audible is fantastic. Kindle Unlimited is fantastic. I love Amazon service. But I also love Amazon's profit margins. Now, Walmart, which has more distribution centers than Amazon, right? Because, at least according to folklore, 90% of the United States is within 10 minutes of a Walmart store. Right? Well, Walmart's market cap is a fraction of Amazon's. In fact, it's less than $500 billion. Now, I privately believe that 30 years from now, the world powers, and don't interpret this as a patriotic or unpatriotic statement, but the primary world economies will be China's and India's. Right, folks? It's simply a matter <coughs> of demographics <coughs> and the spread of technology. So because I believe that, Walmart's ownership of Flipkart is very important to me. In fact, Walmart's investments in general in India are very important. I don't believe they're reflected in the share price. I think going forward in this post-COVID world, more people are going to shop online, right? Remote shopping. I think Walmart benefits. I believe the world is going to become a smaller place. 
more international commerce. The ability to buy from vendors online quickly internationally. I think that's going to benefit China. I think that's going to benefit India. Walmart has a sizable presence in India right now. I believe those investments are going to bear fruit. So right here at this price, given the name recognition of Walmart, given the hubs that Walmart has, the amount of stores, which could be a sign of strength going forward, not weakness. Understand, many of these retail stores can become distribution networks. As Walmart challenges Amazon, right at this price, I'm looking at Walmart. So to sum up, we're looking at big companies in this video, right? I like Baidu. I'm very impressed with the robo taxi service. Baidu owns the majority of the search market in China right now. No small accomplishment, right? You're getting all of that with an investment in Baidu. Baidu's market cap, again, fraction, a fraction of Google's, a fraction of Amazon's, on par with Walmart's market cap, right? These aren't small companies, but understand they're small relative to the giants out there, right? So Baidu has caught my eye. Google has caught my eye. Baidu, Walmart has caught my eye, right? This is a big market cap video. I like those three, all of them have huge cash reserves. You need to consider that as we head into an era of financial uncertainty, right? These companies can self-finance right now. You're not as vulnerable to creditors as you are elsewhere. So, I'm just telling you what I'm doing. Right? I've picked up stakes in Alphabet, Baidu, and Walmart. I've sold Neo. Right? In addition, of course, I believe the best investment out there is Bitcoin. Right? Let me add to, in the stock market, while I do expect stocks to deflate, right? I think um, you know something's wrong when the market cap of Apple exceeds the Russell 2000, right? You know something's wrong. But I do feel that gold and silver miners, in general, are about to take off, right? Let me just say here, I would look at these gold royalty companies like Metalla, right? Smaller than Franco Nevada, more nimble, um, well positioned. Uh, when it comes to silver mining, I love First Majestic, right? You want to do your own research, but I believe you're going to have certain stocks fall by the wayside, certain sectors take off, right? I think the gold and silver miners are perfectly situated in crypto. I like Bitcoin. Um, I love Dash. Let me go one step further. Um, in the world of DeFi, I love the Oracle companies, right? Chainlink, Band Protocol, right? I do have some synthetics. Right? Let me just say, though, that DeFi is new. It carries the risk that newness carries. You want to proceed in that world carefully. Right? Let me just say, though, that a price oracle is not the same as, let's say, coins where they're holding other coins as collateral, right? Maker and stuff like that. 
So I believe there's less risk with Chainlink, which is selling at a huge discount this morning, and ban protocol. That's how I see it. Oh, let me add one more thing too. If you believe in Chainlink, pay attention to the platforms they're on. Chainlink runs on the Cosmos platform, right? Did you know that if you hold Cosmos on an exchange like Binance.us, understand Binance is one of the best in the business to comply with know your customer laws. Binance had to set up a U.S. website, a site for the United States that requires account holders to disclose their identities. If you have an account on Binance.us and if you hold Cosmos and if you believe in Chainlink then you would have to believe in Cosmos. Right? Because Chainlink runs on Cosmos. Not on Ethereum but on Cosmos. Did you know that just holding Cosmos on Binance.us automatically gives you staking profits if you hold it on Binance.us for a month or more. Right? You'll actually notice that just by having it in your account you're getting a rate of return. They're increasing the amount of Cosmos that you have over time. You're automatically staked. You don't have to be Einstein to set up a staking mechanism. Give Cosmos a look, at least I am, okay? Again, this video is not intended to be investment advice. It's just intended to let you know the ideas I'm pursuing right now in some investment areas. That's how I see it. Let me know what you think. I look forward to your comments. Thanks for stopping by.